The only bad thing about these new releases is I'm breaking my back. everyone, it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about a couple of new makeup releases that came out this month. So I know I just filmed a recent one, but there's just so many new makeup that's been launching this month and I've been wanting to try a lot of them. So yeah, um, I have a couple in this video. So if you want to see what I got and what I think about it, just keep on watching. Okay, so in my previous video, I talked about the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. It was the Bling Boss palette. Like I said, I got two of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and this one right here is the Dark Magic one. The reason why I got this is because I don't feel like I have these shades in my collection. So it has kind of a literally dark color palette to it. In reality, I'm not really gonna use the other eyeshadow palettes because I already have eyeshadow palettes with those colors in them so I didn't want to get them. And I just really wanted to test out the formula because because I have like the old Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the 38 color one. And I really love the formula of that one. So that's why I got these. And they're really tiny and they have a mirror. That's one thing I love about it. And I feel like it's good for traveling because it's not that expensive. So if ever it breaks, it's only $15. Not that it's not, you know, costly. Like $15 is still so much. But compared to the high-end eyeshadow palettes, which are kind of expensive. So if they break in my luggage, I'm gonna be like, oh, sakit, sobra nun. Wow, I thought I was gonna need a different palette for setting my primer. I'm going to use this shade right here. This is the shade Poo. Now I'm taking my fluffy blending brush. This is the Morphe M441 brush. And I'm going to take the shade Shush, which is this shade right here. I'm just going to swirl my brush in that and I'm going to use that as my transition shade starting in the outer corners and lightly brushing that in on my crease area. a little bit of color to my eyeshadow, I am going to use this Morphe M443 brush, which is a blending brush that is a little bit more packed. And I am going to take the shade Inside Job, which is this shade right here, which is a little bit of like a dark forest green color. I'm going to apply that on my outer corner. And then just slowly bringing that in. back with my blending brush and I'm just going to blend those two eyeshadows together so that there are no patchiness to the eyeshadows. I know I look a little too dark but yeah. Now I'm taking an eyeshadow brush. This is the Sigma Eyeshading E55 brush and I am taking the shade Potion which is this shade right here and I am just going to apply that on the lower half of my lid. want to darken my outer corners a little bit more so I'm going back to that shade inside job and I'm just going to apply a little bit more and then of course going back to my blending brush now I'm taking the shade trickery and I'm just using my index finger and I'll be applying that on the lower half of my outer corner the shade power cut and I'll be applying that on my lower on the lower half of my lid just on top of that green shade I kind of want the middle part of my lid to be a little more glittery so I'm gonna go ahead and get a new product okay so I just recently got this this is the essence metal shock eyeshadow this one is in the shade moon dust and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks look at that glitter so I'm gonna apply that on my the middle part of my lid so the reason why i got this naman is because i felt like it was a good 
dupe to the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows or like the Cover FX Shimmer Veil eyeshadows. So, and this was only $5, you guys. Let's see. Oh, grabe. Look at that pigment though. That is so metallic. Where's my brush? I need to blend that out. Wow. That's like straight up silver. Wow. Super pigmented for $5. Since this is looking a little bit crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the inside job shade right here and just reapply that. Then I'm gonna go ahead, go back to my blending brush. Just make sure that there's no patchiness in this area. I'm gonna pause on working on the eyeshadow for now before I go crazy by layering a lot more color on my face. But yeah, so far so good. This Dark Magic palette, same formula as the Bling Boss palette. Even if the shades are a lot darker, they're still as pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup. I have a new foundation to show you guys today. This is the Too Faced Tutti Fruity Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. You know me, I love dewy, glowy foundation and it says full coverage. So everything that I love in a foundation is in this foundation as, you know, claimed by Too Faced. And I got the shade Sand. Along with this line, they also came up with a brightening powder, some blush duos, and a contour, no, bronzer and highlighting duo as well. And then they also came up with lip shades and some eyeshadows. But I was only really interested in the foundation because it's something that I love and something that I feel like I'm gonna use for every day. Oh, what a cute pump! It's pink. So yeah, we'll squirt this right here. Okay, as you can see, it's new. Wow, it's moussey. So because it is moussey, I feel like it's going to be full coverage. Nga. As you can see, it's not running. It has a thick formula and that's when I know it's a full coverage foundation. And before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and put on primer. I'm going to be using my Too Faced Hangover RX primer. As usual, whenever I test out a foundation, I use a sponge on one side and then a brush on the other. So let's start with a sponge on this side. Wow, that is really thick. right off the bat it has a good coverage not super heavy full coverage but good enough to hide any imperfections and blending it with the beauty blender it worked well as well it then the beauty blender didn't really soak up any foundation so now we're gonna try out the brush side <laughs> what so for the brush side I'm using my Sigma flat kabuki f80 I feel like I like the sponge a little bit more, so I'm gonna use this to apply foundation on the rest of my face. Okay, right off the bat, I'm really loving this foundation. It has the finish of the Too Faced Born This Way, but a little bit more dewy. As you can see, there's kind of a glow on my face talaga, and I love that, especially in the summertime. Actually, even in the winter months, I still love it, so yeah. Let's get on to like the concealer. I, this one is not a new release, but I just got it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is the Flower Beauty light illusion full coverage concealer i've been hearing a lot of good things about it and a lot of bad things about it from oily skin beauty gurus and when oily skin people don't like a product because they're too hydrating i tend to gravitate toward it because i have dry skin like super dry skin so that's why i got it and this is the shade what shade is this i believe this is the shade medium honey um yeah it is the shade medium honey okay so let's try this out Ooh, 
this is like my perfect concealer shade. It's not too light like my usual, like the usual shades that I get are a tad bit too light for my skin because I like to use them for highlighting. But this one is, it could be a highlighter, but it's still not that super light. I'm not sure if you've seen mm. that in my other, like in my previous videos, a lot of my concealers are super duper light talaga. Because I like that brightened up look when it comes to like this area of my face. And this is not super like blended na. But as you can see, look at that coverage though. Eye bags, pagod. Super bright. Love it. And it's not super matte as well. Parang it's similar to the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer because it is full coverage, but then it's hydrating and look, it's not looking so matte, like too, too matte. And it's not too hydrating as well, especially for me. I have, like I said, I have dry skin. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and stop talking. Now I'm just going to set my face with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder and I'm going to finish finish and I'm going to finish the rest of my face makeup off camera. Okay, so I just finished my face makeup. I actually used the Melissa Michelle blush again and I was supposed to use the Melissa Michelle highlighter in the cheek palette, but then I found it too glittery for my look because I wanted it to focus on the eyes. So I just used the Essence Pure Nude highlighter on my cheekbones. And yeah, um, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the eye makeup. I'm going to go back to my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette. I'm just going to use this Morphe M432 brush. So I'm just mixing the shade Inside Job and the shade Potion together. And I'm going to be applying that on my waterline, actually. Whoa, first time. Super dark look. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and tightline my eyes using this black eyeliner. are watery I'm good I yeah I poked my eye a while ago but anyway I'm going to go ahead and take this essence pure nude highlighter and then I'm going to use a where's that brush this pencil brush this is from Sigma and that's the e30 brush so I'm just going to use this essence pure nude highlighter for my inner corner shade it's a lot better to just use your finger but it's not hygienic but anyway for eyelashes of course I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shuemura eyelash curler and use the heroin make mascara but I'll be using a new product so these are new lashes that I hauled like a month ago but never got to use this is from the brand Cosmania lashes for days um in the style so natural black I got this from Marshalls and this whole set which has one two three four five lashes is only eight dollars from TJ Maxx no Marshalls and I just want to try this out and see if it will work the way I want it because it has a thin band that's why it got my attention because it has a thin band because the ones that has a thick band I really have a hard time applying that I'm going to do this off camera because I cannot for the love of makeup apply lashes on camera okay so I just applied the lashes and they were so surprisingly a lot easier to apply and they look a little bit natural long the lashes I feel like focuses more on length and not the thickness so it looks a lot more natural than you know it actually is but it is false lashes but yeah like I said it has a thin band so it's a lot easier to work with and when you apply it it's not gonna look crooked or whatnot because it's super thin lang yung band niya and it won't really so when you apply glue and then stick it on your eyelids it's really gonna stick right away because the bands are super thin so it makes it easier for the glue to hold on to the band and then attach it to your eyelid if you know what I'm saying if I'm making any sense and whatnot but yeah anyway I really love it if you're looking for a good pair of lashes definitely 
Marshalls 8 box for 5 pairs. Anyway, let's finish off the rest of my makeup and let's apply lipstick. I also got this one recently. This is the NYX Powder Puff Lipstick. So I've been seeing a lot of the Boxum ones and like a mascara, I don't really tend to gravitate toward high-end lipsticks. So I didn't want to purchase that because it, I think it was like around $18 or whatnot. So I got this one. This one is from NYX and this one is in the shade Cool Intentions and hopefully it goes well with my eye look today. I've applied lip balm on my lips and now let's use this. It comes with a sponge tip applicator. So it's a powder lip cream. Okay, any minute now. Oh, there it is. That looks weird, but yeah, anyway. I'm not sure if you can see that, but hold on. Focus. It won't focus. Sorry, my, my nail has eyeliner on it. Ooh! <laughs> too bad. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair and I'll be right back. And that wraps up all of the new makeup releases that I tested out for this month. I don't think I'm gonna have another one because it's almost the end of August and I'm still testing out new releases. What am I going to say at my end of the year update? End of the year, end of the month update. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'll be talking about all of these products again at the, my end of the month update with my final thoughts about the products. But so far, everything that I used today, I really love it and of course if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and of course do subscribe to my channel if you're not already i'll see you guys next time bye